guys, my name is ADC Artitech and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing and demonstrating how to draw Jiren from the Dragon Ball Super Universe. And uh, if I do say so myself, this is a pretty simplistic character to do. Um, so I'm going to break down the fundamentals and the basics of the character and uh, hopefully give you guys a little idea on how I would draw this. Uh, this isn't going to be the most in-depth of tutorials. This is going to be a tutorial um, demonstrating how I myself uh, would go about drawing this character and hopefully it will help you uh, in progressing with your own drawings. So um, yeah, uh, as is with most of my drawings, and in fact all of my drawings, I'd like start with a circle. Now the line's going to be quite faded, um, and that's intentional, so hopefully you can still see them, and uh, yeah, we can work together on this. So um, the particular reference that I'll be using today is just a standard arms crossed, uh, nothing fancy right here. And uh, what you want to do is you just want to start with the uh, circle shape, and begin by um, dividing the circle into um, half, and then just go half across this way. Now, the reason I do these uh, types of things is it gives me um, a good basis to work with. As long as I have something on the paper, this is my philosophy, and this is why you never see me use erasers when I do my drawings, because I always do these basic lines and they really do help. So please, um, yeah, trust me with this. So do a circle, uh, we cut it in half, and then we'll do two lines just on the side over here. Now, uh, what I like to do is I like to figure out where the base of the chin will be, so obviously that's going to be the bottom line here. I just do a line across, and in Jiren, as an example, this is going to be our line that falls where our shoulders will go. So we know that our sort of um, our traps, the muscles uh, just around our necks, are going to fall just over here. And uh, we can start to work out uh, other minor areas, uh, such as, for example, the halfway line here, just slightly below that halfway. So let's say the gap between these two bits here will give us our gap down here. And this is an important line for us because that's going to give us our sort of neck area. Now, what I always do is I just mark off very roughly um, where these areas are going to be so I'll do a little circle here just to sort of imagine where a chest is going to fall and uh, we get over here now as you'll notice here I've sort of made a rough line here there's nothing serious just yet I like to do rough guidelines so these rough guidelines um, just sort of follow straight to the center point just there and that gives me my distance from where I need to be for the um, the shoulders to begin now when I get over to the shoulders, uh, in Jiren for an example, um, the shoulders are about the same size as the head, maybe a little bit bigger, so what I'll do is I'm just going to do a sort of rough circle in this direction, not coming up too much, um, so about this will be a good height, and what I'm going to do is a circle pretty much the same size as this if I can, I might go a little bit bigger uh, when it comes to actually doing this seriously, but for now I'm just going to figure it out and just say uh, what looks like a good circle. So um, we've got two circles here, and I'm going to move up a little bit so you can see clearly uh, what I'm doing. So I just like to do these two circles just here. It gives me a good line. Again, you can do the center line just down here, which will help you out. And figure out now where the biceps are going to be. So the biceps are going to fall, because we're doing a, a crossed arm version of Jiren, we figure out that the biceps are going to fall not too low down here between the sort of like the same distance between this point here and this point here, this point here, this point here. And what I'll do is again, I'll figure out that it's sort of going to cross over the center point of this. And I'll just make some rough lines sort of going along here. This, again, doesn't have to be anything crazy serious just yet. Again, over here, where's the halfway line? Maybe just a little bit outside of the halfway line. We'll go over here. That looks about right. We'll just do two circles. I haven't gone too low just here. Uh, we'll come down and you guys can see that after. Um, and yeah, so what I want to do now is just figure out where the um, arms are going to cross over. They're not too far off from where this center point is here. So we do a nice little line just over there and it can go off in this direction just any way you want to go, just sort of throw it off in that direction and that gives us a good foundation. Now let's move on to the head structure. So the head structure, wherever we're going to fall with this, so the halfway line about here is going to fall... Mm, well, Jiren is a bit difficult with his face because this is actually my first time ever drawing Jiren, so yeah, you're actually getting a first ever glance at how I draw Jiren. Uh, my previous video I drew him from the back and it wasn't really a Jiren drawing, this is my first one. So yeah, let's figure this out together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fall um, just below the halfway point, so about here. And that's going to give me my point where the sort of the neck will start. So we're going to go here, and I'm just going to do a line that comes down. And as it gets to this point, just sort of just between these two here, I'm going to start to curve inwards. And then I'll come and I'll just meet sort of where the base of the, um, the circle is. We'll do the same over here. I'm going to go up in this direction. And as I go up here, I'm just going to go off in that direction. You can go off as high as you want just to sort of give you an idea. Just do some lines there. Now, as you can see, I'm going a little bit harder here just so you guys can see um, what I'm exactly doing. I'm going to go higher than this circle as well, so keep that in mind. Um, but this point here will give us a good foundation for where the eyes are going to go. So in here somewhere is where the eye will fall. Uh, so this center point is our eyes. 
and then all I'm going to do is just come off in this area here. I'm just going to go off a little bit in this direction and sort of give me my ears. And um, not too far, we don't want to go crazy, so about a little distance apart from there. And I'll just go sort of straight up with a bit of a curve. And that looks like a good distance. Uh, again, we'll figure it out, but a good way of measuring this is wherever that angle is there is where the top of the ear is going to be there. So that will give us the sort of top of the ear there. Again, over here, we'll do the same thing. We'll measure out our line. Where does that fall? So about here somewhere. And I'll just sort of curve it off and do the same thing. Go around and... Um, there's one of our ears as well. So we, now we've got two ears. And now what I want to do is start to straighten up up here. And the same on this side. We're going to start to straighten it up. And we're going to curve around. So depending on how high you want his, hair to go, uh, his head to go, this will be a little bit messy and a little bit difficult. So let's move down a bit. Um, so I'm just going to figure it out and say it's around here. Not too much of a distance between this. And around there will be our head structure. Okay, hopefully you guys can still see what I'm doing. Yeah, you can. Alright, so let's figure out where the eyes are going to go. So the eyes are going to fall from this point over here, and they're going to come right over and meet between the center point here, but not as far. So what we're going to do is just do a line straight across, figure out where the bottom of the eyes are going to be, uh, slightly higher than the ear, so around here, and the distance of the two eyes, how far do you want them to be apart. Uh, with Jiren, it's a bit weird, so we're just going to sort of figure out a little gap. About here looks like a good gap for us, so we'll just give them that, and... On this side, same thing, we're going to go off into this direction, just over to where the top of the ear is. And, uh, I don't know, do we go down with this or do we go up? It's a bit hard to see on the reference that I'm using, so we're just going to figure it out and go about there. Okay, uh, I'd like to come down to the nose now because I've got a good little structure on where the eyes are going to be, but I can change them as I'm going along, so uh, that's why we're keeping the lines quite rough. So uh, let's figure out where the nose will be. The nose is quite high on Jiren, it's around here. So what I'd like to do is just shade in an area where I believe the nose will fall into. So I can add any details I need to on that nose right there. So just smudge it in and just say that's where the nose is going to be. And then when you figure out everything else, you can start to add details. Okay, so the mouth uh, the mouth falls about midway between the chin and the nose. So what we'll do is we've sort of got to figure out an expression here. Because I don't really have a good reference, I wonder if I can find a reference on my phone. I can give him a small mouth. Should we give him a small mouth? We'll give him one of these small little... Um, line type mouse that do that I don't know something like that we'll come back to that anyway and we'll figure it out and then all we've got to do is just shade in this area down here now um, with the top part uh, go back to my reference because I'm lost right now okay so uh, yeah let's figure out where the um, sort of little details here for the eyes the outside of the eye up here we'll go there so Let's do the round circle of the eyes. So um, again, we want to come in a little bit and just sort of fall into that line that we've already marked off and start to come right the way around close to the edge and start to curve inwards. So we want to leave ourselves enough room to sort of curve back inwards as if we were going to make a circle over here. And the same on this side, we want to leave ourselves enough room to curve around and do a nice natural uh, circle curve all the way around where it meets into the center, just there. Um, we can start playing around with the eyes, where did the lobes go, etc, etc. Start messing around there. Figure out where the uh, light shadow is going to be. Uh, we can figure this out when we do the inking, but for now, just for the video's sake, I'm going to do um, some lines. So we've got a bit of a shadow in there, and then we'll do another one over here that sort of comes down to there, and a reflection just here. And um, yeah, so that's not looking too bad. Uh, let's move on to the uh, neck. So again, all we have to do is just figure out, uh, just mark off these areas that we've done. Uh, so what we'll do is, little line here, this part of the neck comes quite in, uh, just on the inside over here. Figure out where the clothing goes, so the clothing will meet just above where these uh, two points are, over here. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is start doing a bit of a speed drawing and get on with the rest of the structure and start to fill out things and hopefully by the end of this it will look like Jiren. Okay guys, so uh, I'll come back uh, at any key points and we'll see what we've got going on. Alright, I'll see you um, towards the end of the video guys. <laughs> see you in a moment. 